Now, this presentation is going to introduce you to piping and instrumentation diagrams. Now, the acronym PNID, P is for piping, I is for instrumentation, and D is for diagram. We're going to look at a PNID entitled Hot Detergent and Hot PUW Generation and Distribution. So what I need you to do now is to go ahead and get your hard copy of your PNID because this presentation is based on the PNID which are PAC. Now, as we said, the acronym PNID means piping and instrumentation diagram. And essentially, the PNID is a diagram showing piping and instrumentation connections between process units. These process units are generally equipment items such as tanks, pumps, heat exchangers, in-process flow filters, etc. And we're showing the piping connectivity and the instrumentation connections between those process equipment units. As well as being technically correct, the PNID should also be user-friendly and easy to read. Now, PNIDs are generally owned on the project by the process lead engineer. The instrumentation element of the PNID is by the electrical and instrumentation engineer. And every revision of a PNID issued is reviewed by both the process engineer and the assigned electrical and instrumentation engineer. Now, with respect to revision control, each revision of a PNID represents a significant work input. The number of revisions of a PNID should be kept to a minimum, and these should only be marked up by the CAD department, the computer aided design department. Let's look at our PNID. If you go and look at the bottom right hand corner of the PNID, you will see the revision. In our case, the revision is Rev0 and it's issued for construction. Now, with revision control, typically you will see revisions issued as follows. Revision A would be issued for client comments. Revision B, we're issuing for the hazard operability study. Issue C is for client approval, and this is the client's final opportunity for input. Revision 0, like our PNID, is issued for construction. The design is now frozen. And once the job is complete, we then do an as-built version of the PNID, and we call this Rev1 and the as-built issue. Now, in general, with a PNID, the process typically flows from left to right. So if you look at any PNID, we'll see flags, PNID flags, and it'll flow from left to right. We will have a source PNID, and then we'll have a destination PNID. So services entering and leaving a PNID should have the associated flags entering and leaving at the extremes of the PNID. Now, extremes of the PNID means the extreme left and right. Looking at flags, when you see a flag, we see a service description, a source PNID, for example, instrument air coming in from PNID 008. We will see service description in terms of condensate return. Its destination PNID this time is PNID 204. Let's look at our own PNID for some examples. Let's look at two flags at the extremes, at the left and right, extreme left and right of the PNID. What we see here is a concentrated detergent solution. Its source destination is PNID 229. And what we see here is plant condensate. And its destination PNID is PNID 100. 